yep, sure, I'll take it. I need these <laughs> things done. Yeah, I'm pretty excited that's, about this one. I love that's the really interior cool. color. It's probably one of my favorites. I need the black, yeah. Huh? You don't see a lot of black interiors, actually. It's Once you the, clean it up, it's going to be nice. Exactly, yeah. It's going to be really nice. It's got the Euro bumpers and lights, so I've been pretty excited <sighs> this thing about cool. that. cool. I love the way they, these doors close. They're like, Trump. they have like a nice Break, click. Nice and solid. Probably they used to cool. know how to make cars back in the day, you know? I think this one has rust in the trunk. Oh, inside? It might have that. Oh, no way. You have this thing too? Yeah. The Jetronic. Yeah, nice. that's a spare one for it. Nice. I think that's why this car ended up sitting originally. Actually, this is what I remembered up here, this part. Oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of... But I don't that's, think it's not too bad. Let me see. So, I think they... Nah, this is just a pain. So, what I would do in your case, if you can, just uh, take this seal off because it's junk anyways. And yeah. it doesn't really rain much. And then just start scraping this. Yeah. So, what I use is for like small areas you can literally just grab a pick so let's say you're look you're working with a small area like this right yeah you don't have to use like a like a wire wheel because it's gonna like remove a lot of stuff yeah, you yeah. know area but you can just use a pick and just start scraping with a pick okay. and then if there's still some rust you can apply walmart sells, sells rust dissolver you okay. apply that thing for like 30 uh, minutes hmm. and then wipe it off if there's still some rust you just scrape it a little more you know for like small areas like that for that you can also like use a pick but you need to like take care of it asap actually because yeah. it's getting pretty bad it's like really pitted and like flaky but it might still be savable maybe you know but yeah you have to take care of that soon you know same with this antenna yeah. right there it's actually not bad but it's a good idea to just uh sand that or just use a you know pick to scrape that off that's pretty cool yeah. Wow, nice. Wow, spare. Yeah, the jack and everything, and everything. Yeah, it's got the jack. I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it was sitting for a Right. Time. That's cool. W116, huh? Yeah, I didn't even realize that it was a euro model when i first got it yeah it's and got short bumpers when i started asking some people they, they let me know because i hadn't seen a 116 before um my friend uh used to have he actually um flew from chicago to california and he bought a w116 but it was a u.s okay, market yeah. one with long bumpers it was a brown color it was a 300 sd so it had the yeah, yeah. om617 uh it was super cool so he drove all the way from there back to chicago with that thing it had like uh 370,000 miles at then and yeah. he actually did so many trips with that thing That's awesome. he went to florida and back to <laughs> chicago he went to michigan and back yeah i have uh, some videos on it he did so much work to it too he actually uh, replaced quite a bit of parts and he got a good deal in that car he bought it for like i think 1500 dollars. it was like pretty mint yeah. the interior was it's mint it's crazy the 116s are cheap yeah like i was looking online for cars like this there was one that was like fully restored super clean running yeah eighty four thousand miles and it sold for three grand i'm like sometimes yeah. i look at this car and i'm like I, it's gonna be a lot of work for something yeah. that's not even worth any money but yeah i just really want a gas model in general yeah they're so. cool especially this one has euro headlights already and everything because the u.s uh models they had long bumpers yeah. and they had the round headlights actually instead of these if it didn't have the Euro stuff and mm -hmm. it was just a standard car, I probably would have. Can I see the engine on this yeah. thing, bro? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing is super cool. Look at this heavy duty sway bar on this thing, too. I think it's yeah, it's a lot bigger than on 123. Yes, the M110. You know, imagine after you clean all this stuff, it's going to look so nice. Yeah. Because when I got my dad's 300D123, the whole engine bay was so filthy and yeah. dirty and everything. I After I cleaned it, it was five like... five minutes just wiping this yeah. up. It was like the whole <laughs> car was like this before. Yeah. But I wanted to at least desert. clean that off while I was working on it. Because I didn't want anything to fall in the spark plug holes while I was doing that. So I cleaned that off, vacuumed it all out. Checked the oil, checked all the fluids. 
disconnected the rear fuel pump so that no fuel went through and then uh i really want to start this thing bro i'm gonna be uh that bad tonight <laughs> what if we just go get gas you know we can get going a... do you have a gas can yeah could probably just go get gas and just want to like start this thing it has it hasn't ran right it hasn't mm, run for like how long ran. for how long do you know i was told like seven years seven it I would first, be so cool to start I first this thing it over by hand <laughs> And everything was smooth and free yeah and the oil looked good and yeah. so then i figured i'll keep going from there uh-huh i was having troubles with the spark plug wires i didn't understand why they weren't fitting but it was because well you can take those off yeah and i didn't you know i don't really work on gas cars so I was a like, lot of right. bmws are like that too yeah so i took um, them off everything fit you can take off those parts and then you, the spark plug thing will fit right in there the ra you know the radiators uh, in these things were metal yeah they were not plastic that's what's cool and i think this radio has a plug it should have a plug underneath it's like literally like a drain plug on the oil pan okay. it should have that uh you can just literally just take that plug out and just drain the radio now that is neat man that is super neat i really want to start this thing you know why are we here <laughs> and we drove all the way and like oh, the 240d one had a it said bear on it they make like commercial uh heating and cooling yeah yeah, they use a lot of bear parts on these cars. All right, guys. So we're going to go grab some gas uh, for that car right there. And then we're going to come back and try to start it. Apparently, it hasn't run for like seven years. Uh, it's a 280SE W116 Euro model. Pretty cool, neat car. Uh, so we're going to go grab gas and come back. All right, there's the gas station right there. We're going to grab gas. Alright guys, so we came back with the gas and he's charging the battery right now. And it's got some nice lightning. So we will try to start it here in a little bit. But you know, I gotta tell you that once you clean all this area up, it's gonna be a nice car. To get so in. yeah the, the only thing is once i filled it up it had the um it, there's there was some like particles in there okay. so maybe we should like filter it out first okay um if you have like a some kind of cloth or something you yeah, know an old t-shirt or something uh yeah and then another like bucket or something or like something to pour to, to pour the gas to or like bowl like, okay to pour into there yeah The cup is pretty clean, right? Yeah, I wiped oh, it out cool, with this cool. rag too. It might take a little bit for this thing. Oh, actually, it's not bad. It's going through. It's full. Yeah, it's full. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a good way to pour this thing too. Is that an episode of Family Guy where he tries to make an energy drink? <laughs> I wish we had like a spray or something, you know? Spray in there. Uh, try. Yeah. yeah, for sitting for all that time, I was pretty pleased with how it was turning over. This is the first time it's done it now? The, besides the other day that I did it, I was told seven years. Mm. I started by just cranking it by hand, 
and everything felt smooth so then yeah. i continued from there and then the oil was fresh looking so i was yeah. like nice did you have do you have the starting fluid by chance yeah because i think the starting fluid might work better just because uh this battery ah you know what i mean um i wonder where is how the fuel pump is controlled on this I really wonder how the fuel pump is controlled on this because we might be able to just like you know jump a couple contacts maybe the pump is not that bad well, so you know? the tank was really nasty in there so, oh, okay, and okay. so i disconnected it completely gotcha. from the tank gotcha so and the rest drained out so the lines aren't even hooked up so okay, there would nah. be no uh gotcha. Makes sense, that's why man. i went that route Makes sense. um yeah, might maybe this will work better Let's see if it has enough juice right now. Yeah, I should have. Hold on. Let's let's give it a moment, and then I'm gonna try to keep spraying this thing okay. into the intake. But it's a good sign. Yeah, yeah she's, I mean, she's there's alive. Nothing crazy <laughs> happening. So. Yeah, I think once you get the fuel pump working and the fuel mm -hmm. tank back and everything, like it should fire up. You know. Yeah should is the exhaust on it all intact no. it's, cut. it's disconnected <laughs> halfway through so it's good it sounds, sounds cool good. though yeah. it's got headers on it that's all that matters yeah. Yeah. or exhaust manifolds rather than, than headers wait this has the oil cooler mm. yeah it's not connected though Interesting. i don't know where it connects to or it, unless it's from the diesel but there's mm, because the diesel one has the cooler. Yeah, I didn't see where, like, on the Why diesel. The lines, though? Is it, like, bypassed? Really wonder. That's what I never found out. That was kind of... I don't know if the M10s have the wheel cooler. It might be from the diesel, honestly. If it doesn't, I'll figure out how to make Does it, it work. Because it would be nice to have. Unless it has a number or something to look at. Try. definitely should and will run if these injectors are good and everything you hook up the pump so this throttle plate isn't really opening well so right now we freed it up we're gonna about spray some wd-40 on all these linkages yeah spray on that on this one right there this middle part and then i'll spray some on there too it's good to get them moving to get them low, so. that's okay So we, we can open the throttle a little more so it might be able to start better now. Oh yeah, that's a lot better now. <laughs> oh yeah. Probably seven years of dust sitting inside of all <laughs> yep. that. Sitting in the desert, you know. They left the windows down the whole entire time. Oh really? Mm. I think there was a cat living in the back seat or something because I don't know what. It's all happened. ripped and everything. And then I was working in the back and uh -huh. inside the coil spring. I'm like, what the hell is that? There's uh -huh. this blue thing in there. I go reach up. Inside the coil spring was a little bong, like for some really? weed. Really? Oh, <laughs> somebody was hiding something. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it was like perfectly crazy. hidden. And I messaged the guy when I went to go back the next time uh -huh. to pick up the titles. He was like, "Oh yeah, my brother put that in there. Sorry about that." <laughs> How long ago was that? <laughs> no idea <laughs> that's crazy i'm like do you want it back it's like no that's it um uh right now that's fine that's fine that's fine it's because i was holding the throttle a little bit see that the, the key is uh, you have to keep spraying it and you yeah. have to just uh kind of so somebody has to keep spraying. Somebody has to kind of hold the throttle a little bit. Hopefully. I know also. Uh, it's going to take a bit. Let 
me see. I gotta figure out a way. You do you by chance have like any like you know the WD forty had one that might work. Had like yeah, some kind of like Rod. adapter for this. Actually maybe that one's going. Good. Hang on, I'll tell you when. Uh, let's see. Go. Oh, so you, you can't release it, right? I can't release it because there's no charge in the alternator, so I don't think it's... No, you should be able to. You should wait, 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 wait. You should be able to. I think. Once I, dis once I disconnect this, it's. Uh -huh. I don't think it's sending power to anything anymore. Oh really? I think this is the only thing that's jumping them together. Because the ignition, then right the ignition now, because right off. now you're basically like the starter is still spinning with the flywheel. You know what I mean? I don't want to damage this the starter and stuff like that. Um, let's see what plugs are there? Maybe we could just. Can you let go or didn't you put that on slightly before or after? I wonder if that would be only thing. What? If you started it up without having anything connected here, then he lets go of the starter, then you jump it here. And I have to. Well, a good thing is that we know that it's good. Yeah. Uh, the engine is running. We've had it running for like three seconds at least one time yeah it's good enough so for me got, to then you know the spark the ignition system is working and everything um and yeah you just need to get a key once you get the key install a new pump and filter things like that fresh gas and literally just uh it should be able to run it, it should be good